Welcome back. Finding work can be an emotional and frustrating search for many people who are out of work. Now, the city of Chattanooga is trying to find a way to make sure the hundreds of people who showed up for a job fair today actually get jobs. News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence tells us about the plan. Hannah. Kim Calvin, employers tell me, unfortunately, they see some of the same faces coming back time and time again. Now, city leaders say they're setting up a four-month study to try to figure out how to better prepare the more than 800 people that showed up at that job fair today. Anthony Daniels says he's been out of work for almost a year and a half. Job hunting, job hunting, job hunting, job hunting every day, you know, like, overwhelmed. Today, Daniels came here. The Urban League of Chattanooga says this is the most people they've had show up at a job fair in 20 years. Director of Workforce Development Ronnie Pruitt says there's just one problem. I'm noticing that individuals lack a lot of the skills that these employers are looking for. Employers say that's true. For example, everything is more computer based now, so I see where a lot of the older generation are not as comfortable with computers. Today, the city accepted a $100,000 grant from J.P. Morgan Chase. Pamp Johnston with J.P. Morgan says the money will go towards a study to try to close that skills gap. If you can do that, find out uh, where that match is, where that disconnect is, uh, then hopefully you can make those job fairs more productive. These dollars are to help us study how we build a solution that addresses these issues of skills of transportation, of access to, to um, the jobs. Daniel says until the city figures out a strategy that may give him a better shot at landing a job, it's a waiting game. If somebody don't call you, then you like, man, I gotta keep going, man, I gotta keep trying, man, these bills keep the pay. Director Pruitt says job seekers don't always keep in contact with the Urban League after the event. She says that makes it difficult to determine how successful a job fair really is as far as the number of people that actually get placed in jobs. Calvin. Thanks, Anna.